I feel better. I can smile at it now. I feel better. You may remember last week's video where we talked about some of the causes, signs, and symptoms of different types of tendonitis that runners experience on a semi-regular basis. If you missed that video, you can just click right up here right now and it'll take you back and you can watch that video. But this week, we're gonna look at kind of what you can do to treat the symptoms of tendonitis and hopefully get back to running pain-free as soon as possible. Now, the first thing that you wanna do when you're dealing with any type of tendonitis is to calm down that irritation, calm down that inflammation that your body is experiencing and which is causing the pain signal to be transmitted to your brain. And sadly, one of the best ways to really calm down that, that inflammation is to rest. So to stop running for you know a week, two weeks, you know sometimes longer depending on the severity of it. And you can also utilize ice and some ibuprofen or any type of anti-inflammatory type drug to help calm that down and, and, and kick the inflammation out so that your body can start the healing process. While resting may be one of the best things you can do short term to alleviate the symptoms of tendonitis, long term that's a problem because as runners we run and if that repetitive motion, that consistent stride pattern that we do over and over and over again is causing some of our tendonitis symptoms, how are we going to be able to keep running and at the same time prevent the tendonitis from ever coming back? In most cases, one of the best solutions long term to alleviate the, the chances or minimize the chances of developing tendonitis is to work on your flexibility. A lot of times tendonitis is caused because muscles are too tight and that puts extra strain and stress on the tendon which causes the irritation or the tendonitis in the first place. Also some regular massage work. Again, it helps to loosen up the muscles and take some of that stress off of your tendons. And another thing that's sometimes overlooked but is, is definitely effective is to do some strength training and some cross training specifically designed to target the muscles that we don't use as much as runners. And last but not least, I would be remiss if I didn't mention what to do when you start to come back from running. So if you've taken a little bit of time off, whether it's a couple weeks, whether it's a month or, or however long it's been to help really get rid of your tendonitis, when you come back to running, please come in slowly, gradually increasing your mileage and, and your intensity over the course of you know a couple of weeks, three, four weeks, depending on how long you've been out and what your base was going in. Because if you jump back in too quickly, odds are whether it's tendonitis or whether it's something else, you're gonna cause yourself another injury, which is gonna force you to miss some more time from running. So be smart when you're feeling better, ramp up slowly, and you'll be on your way to running pain-free, hopefully for a long time. I feel better, I can laugh at it now, I feel better, <laughs> oh, better.